What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Today I will show you the fastest way to get Monster Hunter rep for the new Beastmaster Monster Hunter class. It's gonna come out within a few weeks, hopefully, uh, the new class. But if you want to get the rep that you'll need for the class, you can do that right now. Let's get into the video. All right, so what I said about the class is true. It's confirmed by the design notes. It is not in game currently, but will be in game in the future. The Beastmaster Monster Hunter class confirmed to be reward from the rep here, uh, the Monster Hunter rep. Now, before you go and farm this rep right now, and I'll show you how to do it the fastest way in a second here. Remember that even on the design notes, they say, uh, the storyline will continue four weeks of more story so there's probably four weeks leading up to a class release uh so don't worry about having to wrap up the entire faction this weekend so you'll have more story quests uh in the weeks to come to rank up this rep so don't feel like you have to get it to rank 10 right now i mean if you want to be one of the first people to get it to rank 10 you can do that but there's no leaderboards or anything so it's not really any point to doing that but if you want to do it here's how first step is Go to your options, click log out. Now I'm not trolling. You want to go onto a testing server. Now the reason why we do this isn't because there's less players on there and you won't lag as much. It's because, well, that does help. Oh, well, not really, but a little bit maybe. Um, stacking, rep stacks. So you want to get every item you can scrape together to, uh, that will increase your reputation. So I found a few in my bank. For weapons, I'm going to use the Doom Flame, 15% more reputation. For armor, I do I have an armor? Yes, I do. I have this, the Noxus Symbiote. Symbiote. Yeah, blah, 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 whatever. Uh, gives 20% more rep. Now, if I was on a live server, one of the normal servers that most people play on, these items would not stack. It would take the highest percentage and use that, which right now equipped is 20. Uh, for cape, we're going to use the cape of awe. A lot of people have this. It's really easy to get. It's 25%. So we're up to 15, 20, 25. So we already have quite a bit more. Uh, for helmet, I have a certain helmet here. Now, you can get all this stuff too. Well, maybe not all of the stuff I have equipped. But if you go to your book of lore, badges, and achievement, and scroll to the left, you'll find a few things here. I think the armor I'm using is for 25k AC, which a lot of people probably won't have. I mean, some people will. And this one for 15 month playtime, just having your account for 15 months. Most people will have their account for more than 15 months. Uh, you can get a whole set. You can get a blade, armor, helmet, and cape that all give you 15% more reputation. Uh, but I recommend using a cape of odd because that gives you more. And whatever, just use the best items you can find. And I also have a pet, one of the most overpowered pets ever released in Adventure Quest Worlds. 15% more reputation when equipped. So, uh, the helmet also gives me 15%. So, 15, 15, 20, 25, and another 15 on the pet. We are rolling in reputation. And of course, if you go to your bank and you get a reputation boost out of your bank, that will increase your reputation even more. That'll double it. Uh, so, you can really, really get a lot of reputation, although the quests only give you 100 rep per turn. The reputation is, can be insane when you have all these boosts on. Uh, keep in mind that every time you purchase an upgrade, like uh, spend any money on the game, you get rep boosts. That's why I have like 3,000 rep boosts uh, for like ev everything. It, it's just because you get them every time. And if you're a member and you want a rep boost, you get one every day by talking to this guy. Uh, free daily rep boost. He'll give you a 60 minute rep boost every day or any boost that you want every day. Just turn it in. Uh, you don't need a quest mission sprocket. Well, you do if you want a free bank pet. Uh, you need 150 of those for free bank pet. So, there we go. We got a rep boost. We have all the gear we need. Let's farm. Okay, so everything I said in this video about the rep stacking stuff, that all applies. And here is proof uh, about this being the fastest way they disabled the quests because they don't they don't want you to do it quickly 
a scumbag move, of course. Uh, you can't do the quests on the testing server at the time of recording this video. But now that you have the information that these items stack, as soon as the next release comes out, uh, hopefully they'll enable the quests on the testing server for this release. Or if you're watching this uh, months after this release and this reputation is gone, uh, then they should allow you to do these on the testing server. I don't know why they disabled the quest. Uh, it wouldn't even be that fast with the rep stacking on the testing server uh, because the quest only give you 100 rep per turn in. Uh, in the first place, so you'd be like doubling that at most, which would give you like 200 rep per turn in, which eh, it's not the best. So let's go to the live servers and I'll show you the quests you can do right now on the live server. All right, we're on the live server. Here are all the quests you want to take. So out of Emily's quest, you want to take the reclaim research quest. So this is a daily quest. Uh, it's not like the other quest, but it's you just do it once per day and it gives you 1500 rep, which is actually really good. Now this isn't a quest guide, but you just go around picking up pieces of paper. It's not too hard of a quest. Take the quest, get the poison from Warlock here or Warlick. Take the quest, energize me. Now you will need to go to his shop and have the inspiration brand energy drink it's only 500 gold you'll have to have that in your inventory it doesn't consume it upon quest completion you just need that in your inventory for some reason all right except both of the quests from this guy uh slay the strays and get the samples except the quest don't inhale now all you have to do is get a multi-target class on and it's best to do this with a friend or two or just some random people in a public room in a private room right now because of course we're recording a video uh, go to this room right here. Uh, this will spawn both of the different mobs that you need for the quest. Uh, kill the mobs, of course, and then turn in the quest. And you can do these as many times as you want. And uh, make sure you do the daily one every day. That will be the best source of reputation. Uh, but over time, you'll earn more rep from doing this one than the dailies, of course. If you do uh, this, if you turn in 10 times, that's about the equivalent to a daily. Uh, so. Yeah, you're doing a bunch of different quests all at once, so, and like 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, uh, 600, like, per, like, a bit of farming, but it's pretty bad right now. So, honestly, if you're thinking about farming this reputation at the moment, don't, uh, just wait for future releases to come out, and, uh, there'll probably be better ways of doing it in those releases than this one, uh, so I definitely just wait, but if you really need to farm it for some reason, uh, this is the fast way to do it and um, make sure you do the quest one time like uh, complete all the quests before activating your boost to maximize your boost so thank you guys for watching this video if it helped you at all leave a like uh subscribe if you're not already and i'll see you guys all in the next video peace